And this book records for us the only first-hand account of when God killed every single living person and animal on this planet, except for eight people that were in a boat. You know, it's interesting, in the Chinese language, you know, the word for boat, do you know what it is? It's a little character. It looks like a boat, and it has eight stick figures in it. Guess how many were in the ark? Eight. Isn't it interesting that every single civilization on this planet that have written records going back, 240 of them, every single one of them record that there was a flood. Isn't that interesting? 90% of them say that eight people lived through it. And you know what? About 85% say that they took all the animals in the boat with them. You see, what we're looking at this morning is something that slumbers beneath the ground you stand on. When you got up this morning, your house was sitting on top of layers of remains that prove that God destroyed the whole world that existed in Noah's time. When you walked out your driveway or went to the parking lot, underneath that parking lot are little bits of bones and shells, fossils and layers. And those layers are a very silent but a very graphic and powerful witness to the fact that God destroyed this planet. You know, a University of Chicago fellow that, that works with population studies was just playing around, and I read a report last week that said that according to his computer calculations, if you factor in uh, ethnicides, genocides, plagues, uh, catastrophes like hurricanes and tidal waves and tsunamis and, and things like that and, and, and migration and wars, if you factor all that in, he said that the number of people we have on this planet had to have started within the last 10,000 years. I thought that was really interesting. From the University of Chicago, you know, that, that he would figure out that to get to the number of people we have, if you look at the way that, that, that people survive disasters, and if you just backtrack it on a computer, that the population of this planet can only be about 10,000 years old. That's interesting. You know what else? The fellow that invented carbon-14, you've heard of the amazing carbon-14 dating that they're always telling you that this bone is 4 billion and this rock is 6 billion and all that. The man that invented carbon-14 said that there is not a single object on this planet made by a human being that's more than 6,000 years old. Now, that's, that's the unbelieving scientist that invented carbon-14 dating. He said there's no evidence that humans have been on this planet more than 6,000 years. Now, if you postulate through all those layers that we're going to see tonight and the next few weeks came from the flood, and if you use those as evidence of billions of years, then you can, by finding a bone in the bottom layer, say it's 6 billion or 4 billion or 300 million years old. But the people closest to the facts know that there's not an evidence in this planet of human life being here that they can verify more than 6,000 years ago. We're going to see why. And if you want to turn to 2 Peter 3 with me, you can take some notes if you'd like. I'm going to give you some specific points that Peter brings out. 